Hello, everyone. Thank you guys for coming. Um, I'll probably wait a couple more minutes. Um, my name is Asia, and I'll be your host for today. I'll probably wait a minute or two for everybody to file in because I realize that there's still guests coming in. But I want to thank you guys for being patient. Thank you. And please enjoy this song um, about climate action by Bar Barbados in Eastern Caribbean. I hope you guys enjoyed that song as much as I did. Uh, my name is Aza and I'll be your host for today. And I wanna thank you guys for coming to this student forum. It's very important that our youth voice is heard. Um, so thank you guys for coming. I also want to know if you are in need of Spanish family um, translation or interpretation, um, there will be a section where we will send you guys to breakout rooms. So stay in the main room if you would like any translation services. And Without further ado, I'll get started. So, one second. Okay. So, what are you guys here for today? What is Prince George's County Public Schools Climate Change Action Plan? What does that mean? So, we're a focus work group within the Board of Education. We're proud to be at the leading edge in committing to climate solutions and for exploring innovative approaches to reducing our impact on the planet. So as you guys may know, climate change is one of the world's most pressing issues. So PTCPS decided that we wanted to get ahead of that issue and try to find ways so we can reduce our role in, you know, the climate change and so that we can help our planet. Um, we are honored that you guys are all here today um, to support and share your insight in order to make this climate change action plan a reality and an inclusive reality now that your voices are heard. So we hope that our efforts will lead to healthier buildings, cleaner fuel and transportation options, healthier and sustainable grown food for our children, reduction of our overall carbon footprint and ultimately a plan that will help us um, focus our limited resources more equitably. And this is why we need you guys so much. We had the student forum first before anything because we wanted to hear from the students themselves. A lot of the changes made in this plan or a lot of the innovations made in this plan will directly affect us first. So I wanted to make sure that our voices were represented. So as you can see to the left, we have our guiding principles that we follow while the, during the course of this plan. So during this event, we're focusing on all of them, but most importantly, um, inclusivity, making sure that you guys' voices are heard and that we're bold and ambitious so we can hear your ideas. So during this event, feel free to share your ideas and feel free to unmute and talk with our moderators throughout this event so that we can hear your bold and ambitious ideas. Don't be scared. We, we want to hear it all. So we are young voices and this is our future. So we, I'm happy that you guys are here to contribute. So our work group, our Board of Education work group um, is comprised of several focus areas. So here are our second seven focus areas and I'm gonna have each of our student moderators that volunteer today that are wonderful. I'm just gonna give a second to clap for them for coming and coming here to support and help lead. So I'm gonna give um, the floor to Haley Brown to introduce what the building construction and maintenance operations um, focus group is about. Hey. Hello, my name is Haley Bowen. I'm sorry. Uh, I go to Academy of Health Sciences and I am a freshman. Uh, so for the building construction maintenance operation, uh, one of the solution is to upgrade the energy efficiencies and that includes upgrading the heating, air conditioning, water heaters, the cooking equipment, and upgrading to energy saving materials. And also want to improve the energy efficiencies of the roof. Some 
Some solutions would include solar installation and reflective paint. And another solution here, here is a uh, battery backups and storage, which will be used for storing energy from service solar panels during off hours and providing backup for when power goes out. And last solution, this is to fix the mold and heat and humidity problems that will also affect the health of students, teachers, and staff. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm gonna give the floor to Maya Miller to introduce the electricity focus um, area. Hi guys, it's nice to be here today. My name is Maya Miller. I attend Eleanor Roosevelt High School and I'm in the Environmental Defense Club. So for mission two, which focuses on electricity, the power purchase agreement, which in short is PPA for wind and slash or solar produced energy from offsite locations. PPAs are signing a contract to have an electric company provide electricity from wind, solar, or other specific resources. Thank you. Okay, so in between um, the moderators, I'm just gonna launch this poll for you guys to answer. So um, I want you guys to just tell us where you are. So if you're in middle school, elementary school, K through eight school, let us know who you are. Um, so we have a better idea of the turnout that we got today, just to help with um, data and just to know, just to get to know you guys. So next, um, while you guys are filling out that poll, um, next I'm gonna introduce Hope Abigail to over the transportation focus area. All right, good evening, everyone. My name is Hope Abigail Banga. I'm currently a sophomore at the Academy of Health Sciences, and I will be focusing on transportation. And basically for this group, we just focus on finding more efficient ways of transportation. And that includes like converting gas powered PGCPS buses, trucks, and cars, fleets to, ele to electric. We also want to change bus routes for energy efficiency. And we could encourage students to walk or bike to school. And we could also install electric vehicle charging stations for employees and student vehicles. And we would also make anti-idling rules for buses, trucks, and cars. And lastly, we could also send vehicle we can also send vehicle battery energy to the grid. And this would be good because batteries and electric buses and other cars can send power back during the, during the hours where people are just using more electricity, which is also during the summer. That sounds amazing. That sounds absolutely amazing. Those changes, I don't know if I want to bike to school because y'all, I'm a little lazy, but <laughs> I definitely support that as a potential idea. So um, next we'll have Esther introduce the food and food waste focus area. Okay, hi, my name is Esther. Um, for the food and food waste focus area, we want to reduce food waste in school cafeterias and compost all food waste. We also want to purchase foods for the cafeterias that are lower carbon diet, such as less meat and more vegetables. And lastly, we want to reduce food packaging waste from the purchased food and the packaging and serving of student meals. And next, let's have Jennifer go over the materials and waste cycles focus area. Hello, my name is Jennifer and for mission five, materials and waste cycles, we want to reduce the materials that come into the school buildings as well as used in the buildings such as plastics, packaging and printing. And we also want to maximize the recycling of paper and all recyclable materials, as well as reusable items such as school uniforms. And then next, let's have Ms. Jessica Watts introduce the storm water and land management focus area. Hi everyone, my name is Jessica Watts. Um, I go to Friendly High School and I am a junior. And for this focus group, group for storm water and land management, we want... Oh, Jessica, you're on mute. Jessica, you're on mute. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> um, just start from the top about what the work group is. 
Okay, so for this work group for stormwater and land management, we want to make stormwater improvements on all school grounds to diminish flooding and runoff into Chesapeake Bay. We want to plant trees on PGCPS land. And lastly, we want to improve the grounds with native, native plants and gardens. And last but not least, let's have Ms. Sydney introduce the education and awareness focus area. Education and awareness focus area. Hello everyone, my name is Sydney Hassan and I am a science and tech student at Flowers High School. I am also a freshman. Um, the education awareness, some solutions we have is to make climate education a priority in all K through 12 subjects and areas in educational integration. Um, we would also like to add climate to the STEM programs and career and technical training curriculums. Um, make climate action connections with current commissions and recommendation. Also, there's a blueprint for Maryland's future bill that was passed by Maryland legislators. This bill will increase funding into high concentration of poverty schools and mostly residing communities with many other environmental and health disparities. Um, we would also like to incorporate climate action at schools and at home for staff and students as well. PGCPS will lead the broader community in education on climate change. Thank you. Thank you to all my moderators. They took their time um, to volunteer and to be leaders of our future or of our present, matter of fact. So I thank you guys for coming out. And just a final reminder, if you didn't fill out the poll about your school level, um, that's fine. But if you can, just um, fill it out so we know where you're coming from. And I see that majority are high schoolers, but we do have some middle schoolers in the building. So shout out to y'all. Because I know in middle school, I wasn't thinking about this. So I'm happy that you guys are being so mature and coming out um, and hearing about this and being a leader of your present. Um, so the next poll that I'm going to um, throw out is uh, just a question about your baseline knowledge about your climate. So there is no wrong answer about this. Please, please don't um, don't think that this is like a quiz or something. This is not school, this is a safe space. So we just want you guys to, to give your perception about what you think produces the most greenhouse gases. So whether that's cars, trucks, and buses, airplanes, power plants, factories, agriculture and farms, or food waste, just let us know what you guys think. And like I said, there are no wrong answers. Okay, so while everybody's filling out that poll, I just want to introduce um, kind of the format for today. So we're going to send everybody into breakout rooms so everybody can have a chance to speak and have more intimate conversations with our student moderators. So in each of your breakout rooms, we're just going to ask you guys questions. And again, this is not school. This is a safe space where we want to know what you want to see in your future. And we want to hear you guys' opinions. So I know this goes without saying, but just as a rule, make sure to be respectful and follow um, PGC guidelines um, for computer usage while we're here. This is a Board of Education event and we want to make sure that this is the safest space possible and that everybody's opinions and ideas are respected. So in a couple of seconds or a couple minutes, we're going to send you guys into the breakout rooms um, for 15 minutes just to have intimate conversations and um, talk with your student moderators and they'll ask you some guiding questions about what you want to see in your future, how you feel PGCPS has addressed um, climate needs needs and um, education needs as far as climate and environmental studies go, among many other topics. Um, so they're going to send you into some breakout rooms soon. I'm not exactly sure when, but um, also if you are here for Spanish interpretation, just a reminder that stay in this room. If it sends you to a breakout room, you can look at the bottom of your screen like here. It'll say leave room. Don't click leave the meeting, click leave the room and then you'll be able to stay in the main room and have that family, um, Spanish family interpretation discussion um, there. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. I hope you guys had some really engaging and in-depth um, conversations in your breakout rooms and I hope you had the chance to um, share your ideas and respond to the questions in a manner that you may like. So without a further ado, I will pass the floor to Sydney. Is Sydney back in the room? Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna pass the floor to Sydney so she can report back what she talked about in her breakout room. So in my group, we talked about many things. Um, we 
I think you answered almost all the questions. Um, something, the first question with education and how it is affecting students um, at school was the blacktops being ruined by rain and kids not being able to go out for recess was an issue. Also, um, early in the spring, going into the summer, the heat waves um, people were experiencing while going to school, knowing that um, the PGCPS turns on the air conditioning and the heat at different times of the year. So they may not, they may not always align with what's going on with the weather. Um, also, um, they wanted to create different things to do while we're at school, which is the recycling clubs. Also, um, building maybe victory gardens. Um, for people who were rating how they feel like PGCPS taught students on climate action, there was a lot of, there was one nine, a couple sixes and a seven. So I think it's mixed variations of what people think climate action um, is doing in PGCPS um, as a county. And that's all, thank you. Thank you so much, Sydney. And then I'm gonna pass the floor to another student moderator, um, Jessica. So share back what you guys um, talked about in your breakout room. So in our breakout room, we had some really good conversations as well. Um, I quite frankly really enjoyed it. And one of my favorite ones was the question about what should the county focus on? What mission should they focus on? within the next few years. And one of my favorite ones was one of the um, attendees said that instead of focusing on just one, there should be subcommittees for each different you know, mission and it should all be focused on rather than putting our attention just on one. So that was one of my favorites and one of my main takeaways from that. And then I also wanna mention when it comes to the scale, um, it was mostly five, it was, I think it was five, sixes and sevens. So a lot of them felt like it was more so like the school system, especially in sciences is more about chemistry and less about the environment. So it's shying away from what we really should be focusing on and more so onto the chemical and physics and all of that kind of stuff. So that's what I like the most and what I took away from that breakout room. So thank you. I just want to acknowledge um, and appreciate your transparency. So I emphasize that this was a safe space because for especially that rating question, I wanted you guys to be as honest as possible because this is for the work groups. It's our job to acknowledge these ratings and see areas where we can improve. So I would like to thank you guys for being transparent with that question. I think I have one room for one last moderator to share. So can, let's see who can share. Let's have Haley share. So Haley, go ahead and share what you learned in your breakout room or what you guys talked about. Okay, so got a lot of interesting responses. Uh, one of the ones that I did like is how the students can like contribute and stuff. And so one of the answers that I got is that the students should just be staying informed, advocating for themselves selves and bringing these issues into light because more people that know know and care about the issues, the more likely action will happen. So, and another interesting point was, was how climate change would affect the schools and learning. And one of the responses I got is, is that we may run out of resources. And if we run out of resources, then we can't like go into the building and learn eh. and we won't be able to do certain things that would like help us <laughs> learn. <laughs> so yeah. And also for the reading question, we got like a five and somewhere around like one and five. Uh, felt like PGCPS was kind of like not interested in climate change in the past, but like now they're interested in, we're getting there, but you could have done this in the past and stuff. And that's all. 
Thank you so much, Haley, and to all my student moderators. Again, I know I'm a little bit annoying with you thank yous, but I really want to thank you guys because, you know, it's so easy to just shut down the computer, and I'm appreciative that you guys came after a long day of school and decided to log on and be a part of our future. So I want to thank you all. So without further ado, I'll be launching our last poll. Oops. Okay, yes, our last poll for today. Let me launch that really quickly. Okay, so we want to know what are you most inspired to work on at school? So here is what our PTC EPS future could potentially include. More composting, green roofs, native tree planting, the sky's the limit. So I wanna know after today, um, what are you inspired or what are you set on working towards? Um, so the categories are energy use, composting, um, materials recycling, peer education and advocacy, tree planting and legislative lobbying. So let us know how you feel. And this will give us a better idea of what students wanna see in our future. Okay, so while everybody is filling out this poll and while you guys are still so inspired, I'm so grateful for that. I'm gonna show you guys ways to stay plugged in and stay tuned in because this event is not the only event that we'll have. It's just the start of change. And I appreciate Haley for being honest and whoever was in Haley's breakout room, thank you for being honest because it is true that PGTPS might not have done a lot in the past, but we are definitely working towards a brighter and bigger future. And this is what um, the, Climate Action Focus Work Group is all about. So thank you guys. Okay, now, while everybody is filling out that poll, I'm gonna show you guys a way where you can stay in the loop and stay informed and stay active as a beautiful and intelligent and working citizen and student. So here is a way you can do that. So here's a Flipgrid recording. So um, you would follow this link um, to submit a climate statement. So you would record a short video, which will go towards our La Largo High School assistant principal about what you wanna see in your future as far as climate learning and climate action, and what you wanna see as far as climate action from Prince George's County Public Schools. So you would submit that short video to the Flipgrid link. And here's a passcode if you're, you use your personal email um, while accessing the link, you can still access the link and access to submit the videos, but you would just have to use that passcode. So I really encourage you guys to make your climate statement so your voice can be heard. And you know, that video is always gonna be there. So it can be kind of like your imprint and your legacy on PGTPS showing that you used your voice for good. And here is a link to stay informed about the Climate Change Action Work Group. And here are our meeting agendas where you will also find the slideshow on there. So if you can follow that link. And I know these links are like, hard to kind of type out but if you can take a picture of it I'll keep the screen on and I want to thank you all for coming and sincerely thank you guys um if anybody else would like to speak um Miss Boostroth or anybody um I'll give you guys the floor oh thank you so much Asia uh this is Pamela Boozer Struther the uh, board of education member and I just want to Thank Asia and all of our moderators and all of you for participating. I am already hearing so much good information and, and thoughts um, that we just wouldn't know if we didn't all come together. And as the Board of Education member sponsoring this work group, I am just wanna let you know I'm so PGCPS proud tonight. And I look forward to getting to know all of you better in the coming months and years as we work on this plan. So thank you all so much. I mean, I, I would agree uh, with, with my colleague as a board member, as a parent, as a resident, just so proud of everything you all are doing and look forward to working with you. Um, and hopefully one of you all will join the school board one day. Uh, but thank you for all, all that you do. I actually wanted to get on and extend a big thanks to Asia for extending this invitation and for all the moderators here today to really just put this truly important event together for our students. I think we're taking those first steps of informing our students and taking the first step of tackling climate change in PGCPS. Um, I'm Alvaris Ron Reese, and I have the privilege to actually be your next student member of the Board of Education. Um, today, I really joined this event because I think to really be able to, I guess, voice the voice of students on the board, I have to understand issues that are important to students. So climate change, 
And so I'm so thankful for Asia for putting this together for the climate change work group and all the work you guys are doing. So thank you. Yep, and by the way, that is our next student member of the board, Alvaro, so remember his name because he is our student advocate serving on the student member of the board, making our voices heard. So it's very important and very grateful that he's here today, um, even before he gets in office to just hear students' opinions. So he knows exactly what to do when he's in office and so he can advocate for all of us. So if anybody else doesn't want to speak, um, this is the end. So thank you all for coming. I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you a thousand times for coming. I didn't expect this turnout, so I'm very surprised and excited and happy that all the students came here today. And like I said, this is the first event of many. Um, we will continue to keep students in the loop. So make sure you submit your climate statement and that you um, stay informed about the climate change action plan focus work group. Um, using that go board link where you will see our meeting agendas and you can see recordings of our meetings if you would like to watch. Um, so thank you guys for coming and I hope you guys have an amazing day.